1984 is much more than just a famous book. It's a novel of huge political and social significance that's never going to date. Next time you hear about surveillance or censorship, think of Orwell's book and its impact on the past seven decades. Big Brother is watching you. It's one of the most famous slogans ever written. You'll hear it every day in conversation. Famously, it became a reality TV show where contestants are watched 24 hours a day. Like many important pieces of fiction, there is a book within the book. Emmanuel Goldstein is the author of The Theory and Practice of Oligarchal Collectivism. And Goldstein, real or not, is the symbolic enemy of the state. Is there a more famous opening line than, It was a bright cold day in April and the clocks were striking 13? The main themes are censorship and surveillance, and Orwell had the Soviet Union in mind. But the fictional evils of 1984 have been seen in many places, from Chile to Cambodia to China. The ultimate secret police is the thought police. They arrest anyone who can potentially challenge the state. They therefore brand citizens as criminals before they've committed a crime against the state. Room 101 is arguably the worst room in fiction. The torture chamber, where prisoners endured their worst nightmares, was modelled on a BBC meeting room in London. Technology is an important plot driver. Telescreens are everywhere. Every sound is recorded. Winston Smith worked as a historical revisionist, deleting unpersons from the records. But Orwell was simply recounting a common occurrence. The Soviets, the Nazis, the Japanese and many others have altered records and rewritten history to further their own ends. Perhaps only Klingon eclipses Newspeak as the world's most famous fictional language. Spin doctoring is taken to its extreme. The Ministry of Truth tells lies. The Ministry of Love tortures dissidents. The Ministry of Plenty rations food. And the Ministry of Peace wages a war.